Wayne, ladies and gentlemen, we've invited the first class. Now we're inviting the executive platinum, platinum emerald staff. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Crew Travel right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I am your host, and I'm very pleased to welcome back Loopy Lee Harris. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks, Ria. Uh, three weeks into the lockdown now, so uh, every day seems the same, to be honest. I'm not even quite sure if it is Sunday. Well, yeah, I mean, I, that's why I call you Loopy Lee Harris. Either you're loopy because you've been in lockdown for so long, or you're loopy because it's like Groundhog Day over and over again. It is. I do feel very much like Bill Murray at this moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on in, in, you know, New Zealand right now? I mean, you know, your cases are still increasing, aren't they? They are. That, that, yeah. I mean, we're still getting cases each day, but they have come down. I think at the middle of the week, they peaked at around about 80 a day. And I think the last two days are down around about 20. So it seems to be sort of uh, reaching its peak. And we've got an update tomorrow to see if we're going to be coming out of lockdown or if we're going to be changing levels. I don't know, we have four levels here, so who knows? So tomorrow's the day. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will um, get some good news. And, you know, I'm going to say it again. This in New Zealand is notorious. You know, the one country in the world that is extremely strict over the whole COVID thing. And this stemmed from one individual blew up. And that's, you know, that's got to be a lesson for the world. You guys were living living life large. I mean, you had no cases at all in New Zealand. Life was, you, you were living with no masks, you know, everything was just normal. Um, and, and literally not normal, not the new normal. Um, but one person to bring that in. And have they discovered what happened? How, how did that person bring it or how they got it or what? From from what I understand, it was uh, it was a person who traveled from Australia to New Zealand um yeah and and spread like wildfire unfortunately you know like you say one person they found one person they locked us down straight away because it was a Delta variant even only from one case uh, and I think as of as of today or yesterday we were around about 830 cases so it does show how quickly you know this Delta variant does uh you know travel through the community um and and hopefully fingers crossed that you know the quick actions and, and the severe uh lockdown that they took on it has, has nipped it in the bud well, it'd be nice to, by Christmas time, be back to your old normal, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's difficult. I mean, especially, I mean, I, I, I can't complain because, you know, when a lot of the countries, you know, Spain and the UK and, and all the others were, were, were in lockdown, we were, like you say, we were living normally. I mean, we had 15 months of no masks, no, you know, I mean, other than scanning into shops and stuff. That was basically it. That was all we had to do. Um, you know, we were, we, we had concerts with 60,000 people and all the rest of it. So, uh, you know, we've done three weeks in lockdown. I can't complain. I shouldn't know and I shouldn't whinge about it. We're, we're quite lucky in, in retrospect. Well, and I mean, unlike South Africa, you can still buy alcohol. <laughs> we, we can. And it has come in handy, I must say. Well, I did see, I saw on social media, a box filled with like some fruity martinis or something. Yeah, I did. I must admit, I have signed up to a cocktail subscription service. <laughs> You're so girly. <laughs> Exactly right. Very manly. <laughs> That'll get you through. That'll get you through. <laughs> it does. Um, I do have to mention that crew travel is brought to you weekly by Blue Marine Travel, who haven't lost a passenger since Lee and I were born back in the 70s. I'm including myself in this now because <laughs> to be honest, I, I, I've lost any ego in the past year. Let's do it. <laughs> one early 70s, one late 70s. But hey, we'll let, we'll let the viewers guess which one's which. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> look at the screen. Not going to say more. Um, <laughs> what's going on in Italy? Uh, yeah, so Italy has imposed strict rules for US travellers. Uh, this is following the European Union Council's decision to remove the US from its list of etymologically safe countries. Uh, Italy, being the first country to follow suit from the EU, now obliges all US travellers and those who have stayed there in the past 14 days uh, to provide a PCR or antigen test result taken within 72 hours uh, before reaching Italy and also now have to complete the digital passenger locator form. Uh, that's regardless of vaccination status. Uh, in addition, though, unvaccinated travellers must undergo a quarantine requirement for five days upon arrival. Uh, and they must also perform another test by the end of their self isolation period. Abu Dhabi. Uh, yeah, Abu Dhabi, they've announced that fully vaccinated travellers from all countries, uh, as well as unvaccinated visitors from green list nations, do not need to quarantine on arrival from Sunday, September the 5th. 
Uh, the Emirates Department of Culture and Tourism uh, said tourists must register their international vaccination certificate or vaccination exemption document uh, for verification five days before their travel date. Uh, this can be done via the Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship app uh, or via the government's website, which is www.ica.gov.ae. Uh, applicants will receive a text message that will include a link to the Alson app, which must be downloaded before travel. Uh, now, under the new guidelines, vaccinated travellers from all over the world arriving from green list countries will be required to show a negative PCR test taken a maximum of 48 hours, not the normal 72, but 48 hours before departure and take a PCR test at the airport on arrival. Uh, they will not need to quarantine, but they will be required to take one more PCR test on day six. Uh, now, vaccinated travellers from countries not on the green list will be required to show a negative PCR test again, taking a maximum of 48 hours before departure and take a PCR test at the airport on arrival. Uh, now, they won't need to quarantine, but they will also uh, need to take another PCR test on day four and also on day eight. See, that makes sense to me because, you know, the PCR test taken 72 hours before, and again, we've discussed this, it, you know, 72 hours, you can do a lot in 72 hours and all sorts of exposures to just about anything in that 72 hours. So yeah, I'm not even sure how worth they are, you know, when you rock up with your antigen test or have your test right at the airport, then at least you know that test is real and it is actual time, it is now, and it's what you've been exposed to. Whereas a PCR test, yes, it's more comprehensive, um, but when you do it, when you have to do it so far in advance, it doesn't matter how comprehensive it is. It's so far in advance. It's not going to give you the true picture of what's going on anyway. Yeah, exactly right. It's a snapshot of 72 hours prior, isn't it? Like you say, you know, a free full days beforehand, you could be doing anything. Yeah. Uh, you know, and especially we've, we've talked on this show as well uh, about certain airlines, LL, LL, for example, who now testing people actually in the sky, any flight over eight hours, they're testing people every two, three hours within this in the sky. So, um, yeah, yeah. They, they need to get away, I think, from the 72 hours beforehand. And like you say, get it, have a test to check in, yay or nay, you can get on a flight, you can't get on a flight. When you land the other side, do exactly the same again. It's, it should be it should be a simple process now with the technology they've got and how quickly they can turn things around. There shouldn't be a need to have to do stuff so far out in advance. Exactly. And these tests should be free. I mean, the fact that they're charging, for example, in Spain, they're charging 75 euros for a PCR test, 35 euros for an antigen test. You know, this is the day and age we live in. These things should be free, period. This is, this yeah. is you know, this is the health of the people around the world. So, you know, the fact that they're being charged for, it, I think, is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I, I, I maybe I can see people who are going on holiday. It's their choice. They want to go on holiday. So right. maybe put it into the price of the flight and all the rest of it. That would make perfect sense. Uh, for people who are going for work and business reasons, uh, then it's a bit of a grey area for me, as you know, especially if we're talking about seafarers and all the rest of it. Is it fair that they have to fork out for PCR tests every, I don't know, if they're on rotation every four weeks? It's a, you know, it's one to get to work, it's another one to get back, you know, and it's quite a lot. And then, especially if you start countering uh, quarantine costs and all the rest of it as well, you know, it's, it's a bloody expensive process to go through to go to and from work so um you know i i think maybe for business reasons it should be free that's for sure yeah australia yeah unfortunately i mean it's, it's just a complete cluster isn't it at the moment with australia it's a nightmare to say the least uh, but they've also now extended its ban on overseas travel until mid-december uh, that's because of the continuing risks of the covid19 pandemic uh, the human biosecurity emergency period as they're calling it has now been uh, was sorry due to end on september the 17th uh, but it's now been extended through until december the 17th uh, the emergency period was put in place back in March uh, 2020, so it's been going for quite a while. Uh, the rules apply to those living in Australia unless they are given a rare exemption. Uh, now, inbound and outbound travel restrictions are set to be lifted when 80% of those eligible are fully vaccinated. Uh, there has been um, news from Qantas this week that they're starting international travel as from December, so that looks like uh, that's when they're hoping to have the 80% vaccinated, so fingers crossed on that. Uh, now, although maritime crew are automatically exempt from the ban, we have seen some super yacht crew face issues at chicken when trying to take international flights when leaving Australia. Uh, with that in mind, Blue Marine Travel would wholly recommend that any crew leaving Australia apply for the exemption so they do not face any issues at the airport. Now, to apply for the exemption, you have to go to the website www.travelexemptions.homeaffairs.gov.au. And you're going to provide those links. 
Will do indeed. I'll make sure I don't forget this week, Ria. <laughs> Russia, what's going on there? Yeah, so good news there. Russia has now lift, uh, fully lifted restrictions uh, on flights to its three uh, first countries, uh, those being the Dominican Republic, South Korea and the Czech Republic. Uh, the arrangement kicked in last Friday following a review by Russia's anti-coronavirus crisis centre. Uh, apart from these three countries, all other countries who are travelling to or from uh, Russia are facing strict travel restrictions, uh, with Russia imposing a maximum flight quota, which is currently reviewed periodically. Turkish and Philippine Airlines. Yeah, not so good news for those, unfortunately. Turkish Airlines and Philippine Airlines are temporarily banned from flying to Hong Kong uh, from Istanbul and Manila, respectively. Uh, the penalties follow events on August the 27th that saw two flights arriving in Hong Kong with three coronavirus positive passengers each. Uh, as a result, authorities have prohibited the landing of passenger flights from the two bases of the airlines through until September 11th. Well, there's a date for you. Um, uh, yeah. Delta Airlines. Yeah, so starting this month, uh, Delta Airlines will be offering its customers new entertainment options uh, through Spotify. Uh, this will include access to playlists and podcasts via Delta's Seatback Entertainment and will augment the carrier's existing Seatback Entertainment. Uh, the entertainment will include specially curated versions of Spotify's most popular playlists and over 40 select podcast series curated by Delta Airlines themselves. Wow. Well... Yachting International Radio is, is on Spotify. Hey, you never know. People could be listening to this in the air with Delta Airlines as we speak. Exactly. They should pay <laughs> me for that. They should. <laughs> <laughs> and the photo competition winner this month. We do, yeah. So congratulations to Andrea Lastin, who is our August photo competition winner. Uh, Andrea mesmerized us with two soul food sunsets. That was words from my sales rep, uh, manager, not from me personally. Two, so uh, I can't even say it, two soul food sunsets. Uh, the first was taken during crossing uh, and the second one was taken in Santorini. Uh, Andrea decided to make Pencils of Promise her winning charity uh, after she listened to an interview with the founder. Uh, they build schools and promote education in third world countries, so it's a very worthwhile charity. Uh, to find out more about this wonderful charity, please head to their website at www.pencilsofpromise.org. Uh, we've got three winners left to go before the overall winner is chosen in December. So mm -hmm. get snapping and send your photos to sales at bluemarinetravel.com. Uh, for anyone who wants to see Andrea's wonderful photos and more information on our photo competition, please head to the Blue Marine Travel uh, website and tick on the photo competition tab. And you too could be mesmerized, likely. Indeed. I was very mesmerized, I have to say. I can imagine. I'm sure they were your words. You're just blaming your sales people. <laughs> exactly. It sounds exactly like me, doesn't it? Soul it food does. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lee Harris. I am mesmerized. <laughs> no. no, you're right. That's too big of a word for you. It is. I mean, I, I, mean, I struggle to say it, let alone write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the amount of words that I've thrown at you over the last year and a half... Well, let's just say you've had to look most of them up. So mesmerized is kind of getting into that, you know, over six letters. It is. Uh, anything. I mean, play Scrabble with me, you'll see. I mean, anything over three and I'm winning. <laughs> Do you know what? If I ever make it to New Zealand, I am sitting down and we're going to put some money on some Scrabble games. <laughs> you'll never have to work again. I know, right? <laughs> Your wife will be kicking me out of the house. Get. <laughs> <laughs> or should be whispering in your ear <laughs> yeah. oh bless anyways lee as usual it's been an absolute pleasure i appreciate your time thank you so much i mean i'm glad to break up the day to be honest with you so at least i know it's sunday anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you get the pleasure of my existence right i do indeed what could be better exactly i always bring a smile to your face generally it's because you're laughing at me not with me but whatever I mean, it, it puts perspective on my three weeks of lockdown when I listen to your stories, to be fair, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Myself and Paul's like, you know what? Yeah, we've talked about it before as well. The fact is that if I can get into this much trouble sitting in my house all by myself in my tower, good Lord, can you imagine the trouble I would get if I actually set foot outside on a daily basis? God help the world. That's what I say. I know the world would probably implode. <laughs> yeah. Scary thought. 
Um, I have to mention again that Crew Travel is brought to you weekly by Blue Marine Travel, who haven't lost a passenger since Lee Harris was born back in the Stone Age. Uh, yeah, tune in every single Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like that. That's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I just had to. It was, it was right there. So, yeah, uh, tune in every single Monday. Um, my name is Rhea. I have been your host. We'll see you again next week.